Running is an adventure that can be both exciting and gratifying. Running is a great sport with many physical and emotional benefits, and it can be done for a variety of reasons, including improving fitness, losing weight, or simply enjoying the freedom of movement. If you're a newbie runner though, you need to have the appropriate attitude and do some prep work to make sure you have a pleasant and productive experience. We hope that the information presented in this video will help you get off to a good start with your new running habit. Now is the time to lace up your running shoes, take a deep breath, and embark on an exciting new adventure. Before starting, like the video and subscribe to our channel so you never miss our future videos. And now, let's get started. Number 12. Celebrate milestones and enjoy the journey. Running is a personal journey, and it is essential to celebrate your victories at certain points along the path. Take the time to recognize your accomplishments and give yourself a pat on the back whenever you reach a new personal best, whether it's finishing your first mile, competing in a race, or setting a new record for your fastest racing time. It is important to remember to enjoy the process and to fully immerse oneself in the joy of running because the journey itself is what ultimately offers the most satisfaction. Number 11. Stay hydrated and fuel your body. To achieve one's full potential in both performance and recovery, it is necessary to maintain adequate hydration and nutrition. Maintaining adequate hydration levels requires that you take in water before, during, and after each of your runs. In addition, make sure that you give your body the fuel it needs by following a well-rounded diet that consists of carbohydrates, proteins, and healthy fats. This will supply your body with the necessary nutrition and energy for running. Number 10. Practice Mindful Running The act of running provides an excellent opportunity to engage in the practice of mindfulness and forge a connection with one's physical self and the world around them. During your runs, instead of concentrating entirely on achieving certain performance goals, try devoting some of your attention to appreciating the beauty of nature, watching your breath, and becoming more aware of the sensations your body is experiencing. Running with awareness can improve the quality of your running experience as a whole, while also fostering feelings of serenity and relaxation. Number 9. Mix up your routine. Altering up your workouts will prevent you from being bored with your normal running routine and will keep your running habit interesting. Explore a variety of routes, traverse a variety of terrains, and include cross-training sports such as cycling, swimming, and strength training in your routine. Your workouts will be more interesting as a result of this, and you'll see an overall improvement in your level of physical fitness as a result of engaging a wider number of muscle groups. Number 8. Find a supportive community. It's not necessary to go at it alone when you go for a run. Support, motivation, and a feeling of belonging are all things that can be gained by becoming a member of a local running organization or making connections with other runners online. It might be motivating to talk to other people who have similar interests and aspirations about your experiences as a runner, including the difficulties you faced and the advice you've received. Number 7. Gradually Increase Distance and Intensity as your body becomes accustomed to running, you should progressively ramp up the distance you cover, as well as the intensity of your workouts. Your goal should be to run a bit further each week, but you shouldn't try to increase the total distance you cover by more than 10% at a time to avoid overtraining and injury. In addition, include some speed intervals or hill exercises in your routine once in a while so that you may improve your running performance and push your cardiovascular system. Number 6. Invest in proper running shoes. Finding a good pair of running shoes that fit well and offer your feet the perfect amount of support and cushioning is one of the most important parts of becoming a better runner. When you go to a store that specializes in running, you can get your gait evaluated by a trained specialist who can then propose the running shoes that are most suited for your foot type. Don't discount the significance of purchasing high-quality footwear. 
Wearing shoes that don't fit properly can cause discomfort, suffering, and even injury, so you shouldn't save on this purchase. Number 5. Focus on proper form. Keeping your running form in check is necessary if you want to maximize your performance and minimize your risk of injury. Maintain an upright posture by making sure that your head is in the correct position, your shoulders are relaxed, and your arms are moving naturally. Strive for a strike in the middle of your foot, softening your landing so that you may spring forward with each step. It is important to keep in mind that excessive bouncing and overstriding might place unneeded stress on your joints, so you should try to avoid doing these things. Number 4. Listen to your body. During your runs, it is important to pay close attention to the cues that your body is giving you. It is essential to pay attention when you feel pain or discomfort, and to respond appropriately by taking the necessary steps. If the discomfort is severe or continues for an extended period, you shouldn't push through it because it could indicate an injury. Get some rest and ice, and if necessary, seek the advice of a medical practitioner. In addition, make sure that you give yourself adequate time to recuperate between runs to reduce the risk of overuse problems and to provide your body with the opportunity to rebuild and improve its strength. Number 3. Start with walk-run intervals. It is preferable to begin gradually by alternating between walking and running, especially if you are new to running or haven't been active for a long. If this describes your situation, a walk-run method is the most effective way to get started. Alternating between walking and running for short bursts will help your body adjust to the increased impact and pace of running. Starting with a ratio of one minute of jogging followed by two minutes of walking is a good place to start. From there, progressively increase the amount of time spent running while decreasing the amount of time spent walking. Number 2. Warm up and cool down. Always start your running workouts with a dynamic warm-up exercise so that you can get your muscles and joints ready for the activity that is about to follow. Increasing your blood flow and loosening up your body can be accomplished by performing dynamic stretches and light aerobic activities such as high knees or running in place. In a similar vein, it is important to remember to perform some static stretches after your run to increase your flexibility and aid in the recuperation process. Number 1. Set clear goals. Before you lace up your running shoes and hit the road, it is critical to define specific objectives that will serve as a roadmap for your running trip. Whether it's finishing a 5K race, jogging a certain distance without halting, or improving your overall fitness. Setting precise goals will keep you motivated and focused on achieving those goals. You should begin by setting goals that are attainable and practical, and as you make progress, progressively increase the amount of work and the amount of time you are putting in. Thanks for watching. If you want more videos like this one, Make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel to never miss out on any of our videos.